the most overrated part. So, did you have a happy new year? Are you having a happy new year? Are you going to have a happy new year? Now, if you've ever stopped to think about it, having a happy new year and an ongoing happy new year actually depends on a lot of different things that you may have not taken into consideration. Number one, did you make any New Year's resolutions? Hand up if you made any New Year's resolutions this year. I didn't. What did you make? I'm one that I always make. It's obviously not working. No. Okay, anyone else made any uh, New Year resolutions? Well, the 2014 that everyone's going to have, we're all going to have provided we're still alive in 12 months time, we're all going to have 12 months in 2014. Now a lot of it will depend on the resolutions either you made or you didn't make. Mm -hmm. It's also going to depend on a lot of other things such as decisions that you have made over the past 12 months, maybe decisions you're even making now as we speak. That's what your 2014 is going to depend on. So what did you do to see the new year in this year? Same type of thing you did for Christmas? That is, go out, get drunk, have sex, watch pornography, take drugs. Is that what you did? None of that. Did you see the new year in? What's that? None of that. Good. Oh, that right, doesn't mean you. I didn't wish to have sex. Right? None of that, but that doesn't mean I didn't wish to have sex. Okay, I'll take your word for it, Alina. <laughs> Nobody was around to have sex with. Now, as 2014, as the year unfolds, serious question even though we're laughing about some of these things and it worries me that a lot of people are going to fall into the same addictions that they've been carrying on with over the past 12 months. And I'm going to list some of these addictions. One of them. That'll kill you in the end. Uh, gambling, alcohol addictions, addictions to drugs, any different type of drugs, even cigarettes, is an addiction. So the kind of year you're going to have in 2014, in many cases, is going to depend on your addictions or the way that you are going to deal with your addictions. Because sometimes the good idea <coughs> at the start of a new year to think about our addictions and we can all be subject to addictions of one kind or another. I've only mentioned about four or five major ones. So in 2014, for example, if you are addicted to drugs, will you make the decision perhaps to go into rehab? If you're addicted to alcohol, maybe it'd be a good idea to go along to Alcoholics Anonymous. If you're addicted to the poking, maybe it might be a good idea in 2040 to go and get some counselling about gambling. And let's not all think that we're going to live forever. None of us know whether we'll be here tomorrow. I've been speaking here for about 18 years. We had time. 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 Often our we might think we're happy, you know, indulging in all these things like drinking, taking drugs. But sometimes these things can kill us, not just physically, but perhaps spiritually. Mind you, if you live in Colorado, which I visited some years ago, we said on the radio the other day, everyone's happy in Colorado. Why? Someone tell me why? They legalised marijuana Thank for you. recreational use. They legalised marijuana. 
take the comment, everyone's happy. I'd like to ask a question. What is happening? Controlling of your life. That's a very good answer, thank you. To be in control of your life. control their own bodies. So many women die in childbirth and the Catholic Pope and uh, so even the, in the Quran, they don't allow the woman to have control of her body. So children are born when they are not wanted. That's right, that's right. The world is already overpopulated. Now, I mentioned a lot of the addictions that people are enslaved by alcohol, drugs, gambling. And the trouble is, these addictions don't actually give you true happiness. What they do is they give you an artificial high. Right? They make you think you're happy, but you're not really happy. That's why I have to keep on doing Why do people take drugs and alcohol? They get stoned, they get drunk. But there are other reasons. I'd like to suggest one of the reasons is because they are empty inside. I'm going to quote from St. Augustine who said, Our hearts are restless until they find their rest in God. In the Bible, I'm going to finish with a quotation from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, where Jesus talked about <laughs> true happiness. He's funny, my And this is called the Beatitudes. Jesus said, happy are the people who are poor in spirit. Happy are those who are humble. Happy are those who mourn. Happy are those who are merciful to others. Happy are the pure in heart. Happy are those who are persecuted. Happy are you when people insult you and tell lies about you. The greatest your reward in heaven. Very interesting. I don't remember Jesus saying anything about having lots of money makes you happy, or being a celebrity, or being a politician, or being a theologian. These things don't guarantee happiness. In fact, Jesus said the opposite. Jesus said the poor, the humble, the pure in heart, the peacemakers, these are the 
the people are truly happy in the world. My question this afternoon is, are you one of them? Thank you.